Donna just just said it's not 2016, but it is everyone's favourite feminist comedian, Kate Smurfcake. And she is still at it. And no, I don't mean the comedy, I mean being offended. It always goes back to that old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist. Peter Lloyd. Well, no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Lloyd Sorry, and you Kate have to, Smurf. You have to wait, I'm not going to let you carry on. That is ridiculous. ridiculous. That, no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond. Go on, Kate, have a word. Come on, that's ridiculous. I mean, first of all, that's like, first of all, to allow somebody on there. I'm talking about the endless self-pitying TV guest appearances she's most known for, whinging about non-existent injustices, and campaigning for swift and harsh male retribution for crimes nobody committed. Anyway, we'll have a look at some of Kate's latest work right after this quick sponsor. Hearing, 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 hearing. Check out this awesome new game, Honkai Star Rail. This new multi-platform galactic fantasy RPG comes from the creators of Hoyoverse, the makers of the already successful Genshin Impact. And the best thing about it, it's free to play. With more than 80 million downloads in less than five months of its launch, the game is a huge global hit. Ten minutes into the game and you're captured by the intriguing plotline and the space fantasy environments. Search for treasure chests, solve puzzles, explore each NPC's story and uncover the secrets of the world. Collect more than 20 players playable characters with their own unique personalities, backstories and battle strengths to boost your battle team. The game uses a turn-based battle experience but is highly tactical so you'll need to choose your character lineup carefully to defeat certain enemies. Check out these two awesome limited five-star characters, Imbibita Lune and Fu Xuan. He's a destruction type character with a dragon bloodline and has the power to control water to attack his enemies. She's a preservation type character and uses her skills to reduce damage taken by her teammates. Both characters would make great strategic additions to your battle team. The game is regularly updated and the new version 1.3 follows after the main Xian Zhao storyline where you'll learn about the characters and places. They also introduce a new version of the simulated universe, a roguelike gameplay mode where you can hone your skills. There's 10 free warps waiting to be won. Log in for 7 days to claim 10 Star Rail special passes for free which can be used for Imbiba to Lune or Fu Xuan. Click the link in the description below to experience these characters and use the redemption codes provided to get 50 Stella Jade. Happy gaming. You see, our friend feminist comedian Kate Smurfcake is a bit of an expert when it comes to the old victimhood. I mean, all you've got to do is search Twitter for Kate Smurfwaite reported to get an idea of this woman's mentality. I have in the past reported a number of issues to the police. They have wasted my time, blamed me, treated me disrespectfully, woken me up in the middle of the night, called me in for meetings and then not shown up themselves, tried to convince me these things are not crimes. I have never reported a crime against me to the Met Police and not had the stress of reporting it actually be ten times worse than the stress of the original crime. They are vile. No, I've reported the police themselves for not following the rules they're supposed to enforce and a zero Covid policy is not about personal choice. Also, screeching is a sexist term. I have reported over 20 gender-related crimes to the police, and as a result, two people have received a verbal warning and won a small fine. It was not worth the effort. Gender-related crimes? Geez, that sounds serious. What could that possibly mean? I wonder if she could be a little more specific. You've had your fair share of trolling, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah. I've been receiving internet abuse for about 10 years. Oh, I just wonder if you wouldn't mind contacting my local police station about all the death threats that I get. And I know, because I've done it myself, I've been to the police when I've received, you know, threats and harassment in person and, and also online. And they're like, oh, well, you know, just like change your email address. There is a lot more the police could be doing. Um, and one thing the police could be doing actually is having a unit that specifically does this. Because the first time you try to track someone down on YouTube, it will take you a month. The first time you try to track someone down on YouTube, it'll take a month. She's talking about YouTube comments, isn't she? Those death threats she was talking about were probably KYS Yes, lol. Or drink bleach, lmao. Anyway, we're going to have a look at a clip of Kate railing against something so egregious and so rare for a feminist comedian. People staring at her. London's Mayor Sadiq Khan has warned commuters that staring can be a form of sexual harassment, along with catcalling and cyber flashing. Which I had to get a definition of, so we'll talk about that in a moment. Oh, good. I was thinking either dick pics or Robocop in a trench coat. It's probably dick pics. Posters like this, you can see over our shoulder there, are being used to warn public transport users across the country that intrusive staring will not be tolerated. So should staring be a crime? No, staring should not be a crime. 
time. What a ridiculous question. What's so bad with staring, Kate? Well, I mean, and this is exactly the point of doing this. Like, it's like, of course, there are plenty of people who do staring and it's absolutely innocent. No one is suggesting you're going to gawk out the window at a seagull and somebody's going to be like, that seagull doesn't need your attention, thank you. What we're talking about is when somebody is deliberately staring at you, um, possibly, like, you know, heavy breathing, touching their leg at the same time, licking their lips, oh, well, all of on, this that's, Well, that's stuff. a kind of... A, you're adding um, a few things on there. Yeah, no shit. You see, what we're really talking about is when somebody's intentionally staring at you while they're licking their lips, breathing heavily and jacking off in your face. We're talking about staring here, Kate. Stay on topic, love. Well, exactly, but that's the kind of circumstance. But which one are you going to say? Well, I don't think you should be allowed to touch your own leg. Well, you shouldn't be allowed to lick your own lips. Right. You shouldn't be allowed to breathe heavily. Well, none of those things individually are a, a terrible problem, but when somebody is doing it persistently, and, you know, it's easy to think, well, you know, I'm a grown-up and I can deal with this, but... You know what else annoys me about Kate? She's a windbag, a conversation tyrant. Notice how she always ends her sentences with the first word of her next sentence? Then she takes a breath and carries on. It's to stop anyone else from having a say. Well, none of those things individually are a, a terrible problem, but when somebody is doing it persistently, and, you know, it's easy to think, well, you know, I'm a grown-up and I can deal with this, but... Now, the point she was making was that none of these things are a crime on their own. Staring isn't a crime, licking your lips isn't a crime, and touching your leg isn't a crime. But when they're done all at the same time, you can see how that might intimidate a woman sitting on a train. So why target staring alone? And what is intrusive staring of a sexual nature? Why not just have posters that say no sexual harassment? I mean, drinking isn't a crime, and driving isn't a crime, but at least we're very clear about the fact that drink driving is a crime. So make some posters that say no wank staring. It, it is a crime. Harassment is already a crime. Um, if, if you know that what you're doing causes harassment or if you, ob if you objectively should know that it would cause harassment. So it, it's not a question of you're not allowed to, you know, look along the row and go, didn't that woman used to work with me? She looks familiar. It's a question of if you're doing this repeatedly for a long time in a way that is obviously intended to make people feel uncomfortable, then it, it is harassment and there is the potential for something to be done about it. Well, there you go. Harassment is already harassment. But if you're staring at someone and objectively should know that in Kate's subjective opinion it would cause harassment, then that is also harassment. Objectively, in Kate's opinion. We should be able to live our lives free from both okay, but look, assault and... But also, on, which of these crimes are we going to solve with posters? On the other Putting some posters up might stop people staring. Can we put up a poster that says, please don't rap anybody? I don't think that's going to really well, help. So I, I just if we're going to do posters, the staring sure, let's the, highlight... Look, Kate, you're doing it again. You've got to give someone else a say. Shut the fuck up! And you're right, posters that say don't rap anybody aren't going to stop a rapist because they already know that rap is bad. Just like wank starers already know that wank staring is bad. I had a situation, 2008, I'm at an airport in, in Bodrum on my own and I'm at the baggage reclaim. I see a really attractive lady the other side and we caught each other's eye and I think we ended up looking at each other. We were staring at each other. We were staring at each other and as we but were was walking... It out, as we, staring, as, or was it staring? was it super welcome staring? I don't know. How, what, what, the grand how would you describe it? I was staring at her, waiting for her to look at me. So I... She looked at me, and then as we walked out, we sort of ended up next to each other. I asked for a number. We ended up going out for dinner while, on my holiday. And, and, and I, that so started with a stare. you worried that you could have been accused of staring? I think I could. I couldn't do that on, on... Yeah. OK, so this guy just described a perfectly healthy interaction, but it's got to be problematic somehow. What do you reckon, Kate? When we're talking about people being seriously uh, sexually harassed on public transport, it's a little bit sort of gaslighting to say, well, I once glanced at somebody and it was all rather nice, because obviously that's not what we're okay. talking about. That's a very a small example. And if the person obviously reciprocates your attention, then obviously you're not being a problem. Yeah, fair point. My wife's been known to sexually harass me from time to time, so I just sexually harass her straight back. But really, how's this guy supposed to know if his attention's being reciprocated if he's not allowed to reciprocate in the first place? And yes, I know reciprocate isn't a word, but you get what I'm saying. Now, she goes on to talk about crusty old men wank staring at 12-year-old girls on the train. And yeah, obviously that's bad. No, but what can you me? can do is if you've got an erection, you can sit quietly until it goes away, and then you can get back <laughs> on with your day just the same way you would mm. and work. But I would like to know about adult feminist comedian Kate Smurfcake's actual experience with this sort of thing on public transport. I have reported sexual harassment to the British Transport Police and I'm glad to say that they actually did do something about it um, a few years ago. I mean, they, they, they came and, and spoke to people and somebody eventually, they weren't charged with sexual harassment, they were, caught, they were charged with um, being drunk and okay. disorderly. All right, we'll have to, we'll have, we have well to leave it. We, we... Shut the fuck up!
up. Oh, they were charged with drunken disorderly. So some pissed bloke on a train called Kate Smurf Cake a slapper, and she runs to the police and makes a report. I mean, I guess she has every right to do that, but it's a drunk guy, and you kind of are a slapper. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you have any comments, leave them down below or at my Twitter account, bear underscore ing. I'm also on Rumble, BitChute, Locals, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta, goodbye. Session, session. Give me better ties.